Hi and welcome back friends of the Thoughtful Gaming Experience. I'm your host Emmanuel Kahn and we're going to proceed with our Let's Play Pillars of Eternity, Path of the Damned Difficulty with our group, the Renegades of Punk. Last time we finished the first level of the Temple of Eothas and uh, solved the Bell's Riddle. This time we're going down on the much more dangerous Shadows second level of the Temple of Eothas. Where shadows roam. Uh, yes. Shadows are pretty dangerous because of their high damage reduction and their attacks which can cost you health. Um, against their high damage reduction you'll need to use two-handed weapons where useful or just high damage weapons in general because otherwise you won't do enough damage to... to really kill them. In our case um, we're using two-handed uh, weapons with Kavarber at this time. He's much better with two one-handed weapons, but these are trash weapons and they don't have high damage. We would use slow weapons, on the other hand, which have higher damage. And this quarterstaff has increased reach, so he can also stand in the second row and still do damage. Second thing is we want to adapt our formation. priest in the middle, so we can have the auras, then it goes for the bard. want the damage dealers back there. We want Kevabar as a melee damage dealer in the front and the tanks in the, in the front line. Yes. So, uh, I'm going here and there's the first opponent. Ah. The shadow. Uh, Let's put our encounter abilities on him and kill him quickly. Also, of course, we want Lord Paul to attack him. Go there, aristocrat. As you can see, Shadows can teleport, which is when just did. Didn't help him, but uh, the best tactic against the Shadows is to have just your tank open the door. And stay there until... Yeah. The shadows well, have teleported. I sense what is it? Yes. Yeah. I'll demonstrate that to you. Mm hmm If you have him on uh, defensive. on defense self, he will move. So he would move into the room and get attacked from all sides. So I'll have him on passive for these kind of door encounters. The other guys I have on defensive because I want them to attack enemies quickly once they have destroyed their targets. Uh, just in case I forget something. But um, Adonan, I want to stay just here And as you see, we now have a shadow in our midst and we'll have to attack that shadow quickly to kill it. Just going to do that because the shadow uh, in the back line is not something 
we desire at all. And other than holds the front. I think they can teleport only once, which makes this only like important for the for the first part yes. of the encounter. And we already killed the first shadow pretty quickly by using like all our abilities, but that's good. With the Arcane Assault, we're going to daze and damage them. Mm, yeah, the rest will be done with ranged weapons and stuff. And as you see, even our accuracy high uh, Ranger Kalvasa has problems with hitting them. They're pretty good. It depends. So dazing them is really good, at least to lower their defense also. Yeah, it's on me. I'll get the next. Not quite. And as you see, they're doing. I'll get the next one. Health damage to Adonan. It's on me. Mm. Let's go. As you wish. Yes. I'm going to disarm this trap. It's finished. Have you um, the amulet of health? Go to one of our damage dealers. This this is raw endurance, which is always helpful to give to your low constitution members of the group. Um, It helps. It just helps them much. Well, I'll see it done. It's luckless with a cavalier, and we'll use the fine pike now instead of the quarter staff. Quarter staff can be given now to our either to our priest. Or to Wicker's team. And I think. Or to Kalvasa either. Uh, that's 17 to 25. Mm. We should really give it to someone who can use the base damage of that thing. Which is Wickerstein? I can imagine her. Hmm. No, I don't think the quarter stuff is so good, but yeah, we'll give that to Gerstein so she can attack from the second row. The pole axe, you cannot do that. You have yes. flexibility in your damage type, uh, that thing, but uh, either, either uh, slashing or crushing, I think, but um, no. Mm. Yeah, there's another shadow here, which we can attack. I should do. Use our on encounter Not abilities. Not. Well, easy to. Uh. We basically want our tank to go in front. Yes. Tanks more. Yes. 
Using all of our counter abilities quickly. Over our bear. Yes. And so this is a good encounter. Encounter, same thing. Everyone attacks, put out your encounter abilities. And it, it's really important, even in small encounters, what is part of the game, to use your abilities, encounter abilities at least. Uh, because it will be much slower without using them. Because you got some health damage here, some health damage there. And this will add up and slow your progress strongly. I'll see it done. I'll see it done. See here, we already singled this guy out again. Just by basically telling him, Come to our tank, hit him. Hey there, crazy. Feel it's on me. Our tank is getting pretty low, but. He still has good health. Um, like it's it's misleading. Here, Qu our quarrel has most of his health still, and it's not much more. And, uh, our wizard has like 105 health. Yeah, so the yes. tank is still in relatively good health. Good for another encounter with one or two shadows, but not more really. He may drop dead otherwise, so I'm going to run around here a bit, there a bit, and we should rest. Ah. Uh. Mm-hmm. No. Well. Going to position for another room, as I told you. The bear here what in the is back. We'll put Kavavar here, right next to our tank. I'm here. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I'm here. Oh. The rest of the guy is a bit dispersed. Yeah. And Adonan should open up the door. Mm hmm. And wait here. Hi there. Now all of these guys are coming to him, and we'll have to wait where they come out, basically. All teleporting around. Should really wait to see where they come out, then do something. So now they have used their abilities, I think. Yeah, or deactivated them. So we can buff our guys now. Also, 
need an arcane assault on the shadows. Need to attack them, of course. Uh, the one closest here first. Also with our bear. Pretty important to burst uh, the opponents as quickly as you can. In this case it's pretty important because this one flanks our tank. I use the encounter abilities quickly. Cannot throw down the shadows. But yeah, we've killed one of them. Now we'll need the bear to move back so Kavabra can attack. And just for being sure, we could uh, daze the guys again. Maybe get an attack or two in. Look if everyone attacks the same target. Like, Kaivasa wasn't attacking anyone here. She's one of our main damage dealers, so she should. We can reduce damage reduction with a bard. That's, we should go close to that, or we can uh, make some skeletons, and we'll just make them here. Why would we do that? I'm it's just a safety yeah. measure. It's just a safety measure. If one of the shadows goes in there, we'll be able to kill him quickly. to save our spells here because Adonan is tanking these pretty well I always make sure everyone attacks the same target Easy encounter, properly done. Still not trivial, as you saw, but easy enough. Well, and, uh, yeah, that's what that's what you can expect from such a group. Oh, and found some kind of note. Which I'll read to you in a second. First, let's take the loot. All of the loot. This note, a crumpled note. This letter is fairly intact. The parchment itself has been crumpled. Gesture. I know that the temple baths boast great healing properties and that your back ails you still. Still, I would ask that if you are to indulge for the greater part of the day, you give over your key to the sanctum to someone else for safekeeping. This is not the first time we have been forced to wait to perform the day's rites, and Rectrix Obrika is often too far below to hear our knocking. Oh, it seems like this wasn't like the best what led temple here. Silence surrounds me. Everyone doing what they want. Uh, of course. And uh, <laughs> tolling the bells in seemingly random orders instead of the real order. Chaos. And it wasn't even good before Redrick started his 
crusade against the Eotasians, I guess. Uh, and, uh, oh. Sharp eyes and keen ears. Let's look what the next door holds. But let's do that next time, because the time is up. This concludes our session of Thoughtful Gaming. Thank you for watching. If you like the videos, uh, you know how to help in YouTube videos. Comment, like, subscribe. That would be really great to make the channel more known, so I can get a custom URL and make this a permanent thing and give you these things out permanently. So, happy gaming to you. See you in the next episode. This is Emmanuel Ken signing out.